hit on the ground to shortstop. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Yeah, and this one's off the plate away, so he can't generate any torque or any power. And this one just becomes a simple ground out here. David Murphy will stand in now as he was reinserted back into the lineup here after taking a needed day off yesterday. And he takes ball one. Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. I tell you, he's got a good pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. Now a hard liner towards short. On to first as the throw takes care of him, and it's a quick two-up, two-down start to the third. And here's where it helps to have your good hands people in the middle of the diamond to handle hot shots like that. Those one hoppers can sometimes have a tendency to skip on you, but he stayed right with that one nicely. Taylor Teagarden will stand in here hoping to pick up his club's first hit in the contest. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. And now pitch on the way. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. And a wasted pitch there, one and two. Swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three, and we are tied nothing nothing. Brandon Inge will get his first cuts here. First pitch to him. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. And that's going to be a base hit for Inge. Yeah, nothing too special about a ground ball single up the middle here, but if you keep putting the ball in play like they've been doing, good things have a tendency to happen. We'll see if this gets them started. Alex Avila will be the batter. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Rabal. Oh, and a good job there of anticipating that pitch in the dirt. Come on, let's keep it going. Oh, and not a swing for the bubblegum card there. It's one and one. <laughs> I've seen Dave look like that off the 15th tee. One one pitch is a curveball that misses ball two. Uh, that was a no brainer there. Uh, if a guy misses that poorly on a curveball, you got to throw him another one. Uh, that was better recognition there. Mm -hmm. 
Bonnie gets him to wave at that one. It's two and two. Two, two pitches hit in the air out to left. And Hamilton will look this one in for the first out. Well, the only good news that comes out of this at bat is that he stayed out of the double play. Other than that, this at bat really didn't achieve a whole lot. So a runner at first with one man gone. And we'll go back to the top of the order now for Austin Jackson. Now the first pitch. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. And now he drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And Jackson has beaten it out. He's aboard with a bunt single. And this is something you always have to be thinking about. He'll indeed drop it down from time to time and legs it out. Will Ryans will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. And after two fairly quick innings, he's running into some trouble now here in the third. Out in front of the fastball, but this is skied into straightaway right. Cruz is right there as he takes it for the second out. Magli Ordonez digs in at the plate. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. set now the pitch right back to the bender again and he's got him in an 0 and 2 hole now well, no taking now he's going to have to swing the bat bottom of inning number three nothing nothing our score and that's swung on and fouled straight back Boy, tough to lay off, but he's glad he did. It's one and two now. And now on one and two, this might be a spot where that high fastball was just a setup so that he can come back with that big curve. And a good fastball here as he pops him up back behind second base. And Elvis will put this one away, and that retires the side. Tigers strand a pair. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. <laughs> 